All right, so Twitch has released a vertical clip tool, y'all. We're going to talk about that today. Um, this was announced. Hmm, when was this announced? This was announced a few months ago, at least, I believe. Maybe it was in their roadmap. Um, I, I didn't actually expect it to come this soon. I thought this was going to be like a way later this year thing, but I'm going to go over the tool. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. and I'm going to tell you why you should use it, why you really need it. Now, I'm going to start this off by saying that clipping and posting clips is the number one way to market yourself and marketing. Maybe that doesn't sound very cool, but it's how you grow your stream, right? Marketing is advertising. It's showing people what you're all about. And that's how you get viewers. That's how you get attention. And the best way to do that is by showing, not telling. How do you show? Well, you find the best moments of your stream and you put it out there for the world to see. Clips and short form content is so great because it's short, it's quick, it's a highlight, it's the best moment. It captures someone's attention. It tells a story in a very short amount of time. It could be hilarious. It can go viral. I've had viral clips myself um, on Twitter, on, uh, on TikTok. And the, the great thing about that is it doesn't matter how big of a creator you are. If you have a good clip, it could wind up on Reddit. It can explode on TikTok and that can get you a lot of attention for you and help you grow your content. So I really want to emphasize this before, you know, people are like, oh, vertical clips, clips. I don't really care. What am I going to do with this? You should be doing something with vertical clips. You should be engaging on platforms like TikTok and YouTube shorts. And the great thing about vertical clips is by making one one time a vertical clip, you can then post that on three different platforms. It's no more extra effort. All you have to do is make it vertical and then you can post it on TikTok, uh, YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. And that's three avenues for discovery from doing one piece of work that you've already made by streaming, right? So this is really fundamental to if, you, if you're looking to grow and you're trying to figure out how to get people to watch your stream clips. It's the key, really. So let's talk about this new tool and how to access it and how to actually use it. It's actually really simple. Um, they've done a really good job of making it super, super simple and straightforward. It's a free tool available to every single streamer. Here's how you find it. You're going to want to head to your Twitch dashboard and you're going to head over to the um, content tab and then click on clips. Now, this is going to show by default clips you've created. So if you're like, oh gosh, I don't recognize any of these clips. It was 23 days ago. What happened? It's because it's showing you at first things that you have made. If you want to find clips of your channel, you're going to hit this tab at the top. Now, conveniently, they have a nice little explanation of how to get started using the clip editor. All you got to do is click on one of your clips to um, share, and then you're going to get started in that process. So, um, for example, uh, you know, Dylan has clips something from the stream. Um, <laughs> Chrissy's made a few clips as well. So let's find a clip that we actually like and, and then walk through the process. Um, there was one, a good one for, uh, from a few days ago. Uh, Goron Megazord, shout out to them for, for clipping um, good stuff that I should use, right? Uh, I should actually go through this because I didn't realize that people clip my stuff. And these could be basically free ways for me to advertise without me having to like go through my own VOD. So big shout out to anyone who's clipping for their favorite streamer. So pitch brands if you like their products. Uh, let's take a look at this um, clip. What, what, what do I say here? Do I like this clip? But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of power in and just being an influencer and recommending things. And, and I mean, that's why sponsorships can be so lucrative. Like if there's a product you really like, go out and pitch them and say, hey, I am an influencer. I my primary platform is Twitch. I average X amount of viewers. I get this amount of watch time in a month. Um, you know, I want to incorporate your product. Here's how I want to do it. Here's how I will drive sales. And here's my rate for like a one month integration. And here's what you get, right? I mean, there you go. That's great advice, right? We talked about this earlier. You don't have to be a, a large streamer to go out there and make something happen. So uh, you can download the clip and edit it yourself. Um, you know, that's, that's a whole different process. But if you want to make a vertical clip, right inside Twitch. You're going to click this edit and share clip. 
boom right there but yeah i mean there's a lot of it's gonna play the the clip again and so how this tool works it's if you have used other sites like stream ladder cross clip combo any of those other things it's gonna be pretty similar to that you're going to select first of all you can select between split and full so um but yeah i mean there's a lot the split now will allow you to select you have two boxes here right you can you can <laughs> you have two boxes here you can select uh so this is good if you have like if you're playing a game and you have like your face cam on the top right uh and then the gameplay is the big center part right so that's when you want like two of these things going on there's other creative ways things you can do with that loco face i could just do this the whole time you know double talk um you can also do full so if you for me this this makes perfect sense right i can do full i don't need to have a second thing um you can do that as well now you can't move this throughout the video like once you have it set it's going to stay in that spot so with games it's actually fine you might not think so but for the most part whatever's mostly happening tends to be in the center and again this could be challenging there could be some games that don't fall under this but um but yeah so essentially you kind of highlight the spot you want you can resize it so if you really only want to zoom in right here um you can do that um and you can also choose to have your channel name so you can turn that on and off Woo! look at that real estate baby perfect for the channel name spot um you can't move or rename this i don't know why you would rename it you can't resize it you can't move it in a different spot it is there i would guess at some point maybe they'll kind of expand on this maybe give a little bit more customization maybe different color palettes um you know but you can turn that off if you don't want it now if you're asking should i do it should i not i personally don't think that you should um i think that this can be kind of like a turnoff for viewers where it seems like <laughs> i'm gonna make this big so we're not distracted here I, I think this could kind of be a little bit of a turnoff um for someone watching where it just seems like you're trying to advertise i think if you're split okay so if you're split it does actually move to like in between which is which is cool this is very smart clearly whoever made this tool understands how these clip tools work and um and how tiktok works um but I, I i mean i would say maybe sometimes you could have it but i think that actually including this does take a little bit away from the shareability of a clip which ultimately that's what you want because people if, if they enjoy the content they will seek you out right they will follow your tiktok you keep doing that stuff they keep enjoying it they're eventually going to want to see more um it, it, I, I, I don't know I, I would like to kind of see um more opinions on this kind of idea on whether to have it or not maybe alternate maybe play around with it sometimes have it sometimes not I, I would definitely play around with it but anyways uh yeah so you can resize this you can't make it wider obviously this is supposed to be a vertical thing so you can't <laughs> make it the full width otherwise it defeats the point but yeah you can uh you can make it pretty small you can zoom it out again it's very simple this is what you do uh, you can also choose to have it default so if you always want this to look like this and this in these positions you can do that or not i don't know i don't think it really matters but if you don't want to customize it every time you can click that uh so then i'm gonna click next well this is like a bad example let me let me go here um and then maybe I'll, i'm showing chat or something as like i don't know what would be better for me personally if i should just if i should just have me talking on it i don't know but anyways we'll just do this as an example uh click on next okay so uh you can actually share this directly to youtube shorts which is a, a amazing amazing so to get this to work um you basically have to have your youtube account connected to your um to your twitch account you can do this by going to it's in your settings um let's see let me find it real quick hmm not in stream settings you know it might be in a kind of weird spot actually it might not be in your dashboard which I, I i don't i don't know you know what actually when you go to the screen maybe it'll let you connect it i'm not sure um because mine's already connected but if you wanted to see your connections i think if you go to the 
top right corner. Click on your avatar. Yes. So go to the top right corner. Click on your avatar. Go to account settings. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to the connections tab. This is where you can connect everything. I'm going to just do this in case it shows things. Yeah, I don't know. This is where you can connect your YouTube account. Um, you can also connect your Twitter and other things as well. Um, if you do Twitch drops, if you've ever participated, you probably have been to this page. Um, so that's how you get that connected. I love the fact that you could actually share it directly to YouTube Shorts. That's huge. You can also set the privacy to unlisted. So let's say you want to upload it and maybe you want to use YouTube's editor to cut it or, you know, to do something or you just want to see what it looks like before you publish it. You can just send it as unlisted or private, send it to YouTube and then figure it out from there. You can also download the clip right now. So I can click this button. It'll download this. And just like that, I can go and post this on three other major platforms with ease. So this is a really huge tool. The fact that it is integrated into Twitch is massive, right? It removes a huge barrier for a lot of creators. So long story short, clips are really important. Sharing your clips is so, so, so important. If you're struggling with getting people to clip stuff for you, what I recommend is just try to verbalize that need, right? Like let your mods know, hey, if you can help me clip some cool stuff, I'd appreciate it. Even if they can just put a marker down and maybe you go back and clip, that would be super helpful. Um, and just say, hey, can you clip this, y'all? Hey, clip this. This was amazing. Um, you can also, if you have a stream deck or like a hotkey system, you can actually have a hotkey for um, for uh, a marker or for a clip. So you can do that yourself. I have like a foot pedal, for example, where I can put a marker down and go back and clip things. Um, I just have to remember to use it. <laughs> so anyways, this is a fantastic tool. Very easy to use. Let me know what you think. This is huge though. Start using this if you haven't already.